60th wedding anniversary, a trip to Cape May, part one. Joyce and I started our 60th anniversary visit to Cape May at the Cape May Winery and Vineyard. The winery and the vineyard are small, but very, very well kept up. Joyce gave me a little wave in the parking lot. Inside the front entrance was a wine store. It had some nice wine displays and a bar for wine tasting. Behind the bar was another room with all wine barrels lining the walls all around. Nice furniture to sit and relax in. And the barrels all were dated and for and what kind of wine was in it. One of the owners volunteered to take our picture and we took him up on it. Directly outside of that room was a patio that was very well appointed. It seemed like the pumpkins were big this week. They had nice tables and umbrellas. Directly behind the patio was the vineyard. They seem to be very well kept. Just off to the side of the vineyards were the rooms with the vats in it where they uh, fermented all the wine. And they had a little tasting station inside that room. All in all, the day here was spent very nicely, early part of the day. I have to say, if you get the chance to go to Cape May, Stop and see this Cape May winery and vineyard. It's a really nice little place. Right down the road from the winery, there was the historic Cold Springs Grange and Museum. But when we got down there, it was closed up. Well, nothing doing here, so Joyce and I are going to motor on down to the Cape May Point State Park. See you there. Our 60th anniversary, a trip to Cape May, part two. Cape May Point State Park. If you've never been here, now is the time. This is a great place to visit, especially early autumn. Awesome. Joyce and I moved over to the Cape May Lighthouse. It's a very impressive sprawling complex. There's wetlands here and the ocean, and they have a little museum. All very, very nice. Took some nice pictures of the lighthouse. I used a long lens to get these shots. This was my attempt to get Joyce and me with the lighthouse and flag in the back of us by holding my camera out at arm's length. Some gentleman was uh, shooting some pictures of a bird flying, so I decided to take some pictures of him. He was way up there and it looked like an eagle. There's a lot of ramps and walkways on this site. There's a lot of areas for lookout stations to see the surrounding wetlands and the ocean. That's Joyce sitting way down there at the end of this ramp. I zoomed in and called her, 
and she gave me a wave. There were some houses way out behind the wetlands. I think it was West Cape May. Zoomed all the way out to get this shot. These shots are some of the wetlands around the lighthouse area. And I moved up to a lookout point and took some shots of the surrounding beach. It was kind of windy and the water was choppy, but otherwise the weather was beautiful out here. Couldn't make out what those signs said, and I didn't feel like walking all the way down to the beach. Way down on the beach, there was some type of a structure. I never did find out what it was. Looks almost like a bunker of some kind. Well, we spent part of our day here on our 60th wedding anniversary. It's been nice, and now we're getting ready to take a little ride down to Sunset Beach. We'll see you all there. Bye-bye. Our 60th anniversary, a trip to Cape May, part three. We left Cape May Point Park and the lighthouse and started over to Sunset Beach. There's some good looking homes on the way. Welcome to Sunset Beach. Well, there's an awful lot of things not to do here. It's a nice little beach. Sunset Beach, where the remains of a concrete ship are. It's a little rocky here and there, but it's great for sunbathing. This flag ceremony is really a great way to honor our veterans of all the wars that we fought. All these flags that are flying here at the beach have previously been used on caskets of our fallen heroes. Here lie the remains of the USS Atlantis. This ship was built during World War I out of concrete, and it proved to be a bad idea. That's it, out there offshore. I got a few close-ups with my long lens. ship in the distance on the horizon is the Cape May Lewis Delaware Ferry. It's a little misty way out there offshore and I'm going to zoom in so you get a better look at that ship. A little color manip 
manipulation. And I brought the color in on a couple of these. It's a good looking ship. Just down the road, we stopped at the World War II Lookout Tower. Now the Fire Control Tower number 23 Museum and Memorial. I believe it's about six stories, seven stories high and you can get inside and, and they put staircases in. Used to be just ladders to get up and down to the different floors. You look so very pretty when we met in Ocean City like someone oh so easy to adore. I sang this little ditty this shot from inside, looking out. I didn't take it. Well, video number three is in the books. And now we're heading out and going into Cape May proper for dinner. See you there. Bye-bye. Our 60th anniversary. A trip to Cape May, part four. It was late afternoon as we drove into Cape May. We were looking forward to dinner and a nice drink. As we were driving down the main street here, we saw on our left one of the main attractions here in Cape May. The Cape May Carriage Ride Tours of the City. At this building, we decided to tour around town to see some of the famous and fantastic Victorian houses. Cape May is world famous for these Victorian homes. The color schemes are amazing. Joyce and I agree they are a treat for the eyes. Many of them are located right on the waterfront. And this is how they would have looked in a photo from a bygone time. And of course you can't come to Cape May and at least not look at the beach. panoramic view of this harbor here. Take a look at these classic fishing boats. Finally, we're here at the Lobster House. We'll go in this entrance, I'll finally get to eat and have that well-deserved drink. Here's some of the fantastic foods they serve here. You can choose to eat outside on the water 
or drew like us and eat in this room, we sat way down on the far end. This lovely mermaid was waving right over my right shoulder. The place is loaded with all types of nautical decor. This fantastic model loaded up with all that money is a collection taken up for the Michael J. Fox Foundation by the proprietors of the Lobster House. They raised over $10,000 on this. Our lovely waitress took our picture in front of this beautiful fireplace. Are you ready for your close-up? Well, this has been an extraordinary day. Our trip to Cape May for our 60th wedding anniversary was a huge, huge success. And we're not done yet. Tomorrow night, our neighbor, Marge, is going to take us out for dinner to celebrate our 60th anniversary. Joyce and I would like to thank my sister, Arlene, and her husband, Jack. My daughter, Jeannie, and her husband Robert for their fantastic gifts that made this day possible. Thanks guys, we love you. We're going home and rest now.